I would like to echo the comments of the previous member that spoke about the lack of representation from the Conservative Party and hope this is symbolic of how they will do at the, at the local elections. I've seen, <laughs> I've, seen, um, I've seen the council, Durham County Council, work extremely hard and the staff there work extremely hard under a punishing, punishing fiscal environment. I've seen, along with other members, the systematic decimation of our local authorities. Now I want to put on record my sincere thanks to every single council worker, to every single Labour member who work extremely hard in these terrible, terrible circumstances. Each time there are further cuts, we wonder, will this be the last year? What else could those overseeing the budget possibly do to remove more money at back because of the repeated demands from the government? What more could local authority work? Workers possibly do with the, 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 the workload that's, that's piled upon them. Durham County Council has seen its funding cut by half since 2011. They're having to make savings of £43.7 million over the next four years. This is on top of the government inflicted cuts of £209 million it has had to make since 2011 and 12, and £15.3 million this year alone. This is simply unjustifiable. Local governments across the country are at a breaking point. Millions and millions of pounds cut from spreadsheets means very little in numerical terms and everyone here knows the figures but what we know more than all of the numbers is the devastating impact on our communities. It is the stretch and the strain on child protection services, social services, it's the community centres which have closed, which are so cherished by local communities. It's a reduced library hours or it's a, or it's a closing of libraries. It's swimming pool prices increased as subsidies dwindle, pricing out the poorest people from being able to go to a local swimming pool. It's the drug and alcohol service reduction. It's the threadbare social care services. It's the thousands of civil servants and council workers who lose their jobs.